Hello everybody, welcome to Tennessee Tammy Channel. How is my TT's doing? I hope you're doing great. What are we having in East Tennessee? We're having beef and broccoli. What had rice, but you know, it is what it is. Grab your plate of food and something good to drink and you jump up here and you're gonna get spanked. Pour your chair to the table and eat with us. And uh, yeah. Paul's, Paul's going to give thanks to the Lord, and, and we're going to eat. <clears throat> Dear Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for all your many blessings. We give you praise, glory, and honor for all that you are doing. And I pray that you help us to be out to this world and everything. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Is it Romans? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to show you because we have no uh, rice to soak up the juice. I got this at Save a Lot, and I thought, well, you know, I'm going to try this. And I got some uh, some sauce. I don't know where I got this from, y'all. I, I really that don't. That was given to us. But it's not really, it's not hot, spicy hot, you know what I'm saying? And I figured it would go with this. So that's what I've got in, in here. And of course, we got poor old uh, Pepsi over here about to drive us nuts. The biggest reason we don't have rice is I made it. I didn't pay attention to the packaging. I'll put it that way. And um, I thought it was a complete meal in the bag. All we had to do was heat it up. And if I would have known, I would have had some rice. But Tammy was ready to eat. She said, let's just go ahead and do it. I ain't waiting another 30 minutes to get the rice. <laughs> she didn't exactly say it that way. But. Let's go try some of the sauce. It's good. I'm going to try it. Can I put it in a little bowl? I'm going to. Well, down Pepsi. That could be warmed up a little bit more, too. This. Can you scoot to your left? No. I'm up against the table like far as I can get. If I'd made this, I'd add more stuff to it, but... It's pretty good. Next time I'm going to add some more stuff to it. This would have been good to have some cabbage or um, even some corn or carrots in it. That's just my opinion. I'm going to get in this one. I'll be right back. I was going to try to eat with a spoon, but it ain't going to work. Not to try to dip this into the sauce. All right, I'll do that. Pepsi, honey, quit. Sit down, Pepsi, quit. I believe this could have been warmed up a little bit more to be better. It took a little while for me to get everything set up with the camera and the light. So. I'll warm that up a little bit. You want yours warmed up a little bit? Well, you can take it one at a time. I was going to. Can go on. Good. That sauce is good. Mm -hmm. I'd recommend it. I'll put 
you get me some more water? Sure. Yeah. Set that down. Uh, well, I don't know where the bag went. I'll show you what we got. The bag? Mm -hmm. It's in the trash. I'm going to show you now. I've got another bag, I think, Donna. It's a different type. for chicken. Well, yeah, but you can get either chicken or beef. And I got two beefs and two chickens. Pepsi gets his tail out of the way. And it's really, really good. And I would get like a five minute bag of rice fixing the microwave. They didn't have it there. I've got it. Don't you jump up here, boy. No, no, no. Uh -uh. No. Well, hello, baby. No. No, no, no. <clears throat> we have got a busy day for Sunday. have the strength to do it because just that little trip to pet smart wore me out but we're going out for lunch with my sister and then later on that day we're going to go to church hopefully i i can do it you can do it Had a headache all day, I still do. Sprouts Farmer Market is the ones that makes this sauce. It, I think it'd be, I think it'd be good on tacos too. Good sweet and savory sauce with, don't ask me and sess me and Spicy peppers. T A R no T A M R R I. Come on. Is that it? I don't want no salt. I'll take the ham. I love ham, but man, give me a headache. Quit. Well, don't pull his tail. He's knocked it back. And I know. I'm going to make it where you can't see it. How bad is it? For real? Fix it. Go back over. Come up. No. Yeah. I feel like I'm being into the camera too. Hello. Look who it is. Yeah.
think the pieces of meat could have been cut a little bit smaller, but I'm not complaining, really. Are you a baby? You can't eat it? No, I didn't well, say Well, that's the way it's supposed to be. You're warm enough now? Yep. It takes roughly 10 minutes per bag of the mix of the beef and broccoli for each bag. So <coughs> I did it in the microwave. It can be done in the saucepan on the stove. So we'll know for future reference to get some rice cooking and have it ready. I'll fix it in my speed cooker and it won't take long. Yeah. I'm looking forward to using that. Oh. Can you say sport rotten? Sport rotten. Oh. Oh. I don't know if they're going to watch it or not. Hi, Mike and Marissa. Thanks again for what you did for us today. And for you who don't know, which nobody does but me and Tammy, Mike mowed our yard for us, and Mike's dad did some trimming around the place. I had made mention to him, Mike's dad, earlier today about trying to help us. He told me. A month ago, he was going to mow my yard for me. He hasn't had the chance to, but he got a chance to today. And today was the first time that our front yard of our, where we live at has been completely mowed all mowing season. It's been mowed in patches, been like the whole thing. And I thank the Lord it was done. <clears throat> I would have done it myself, but I don't have the capabilities because I don't have any equipment to use. And with the way I am in the sun, it's, I don't know if I'd be able to stand out there long enough to mow it or not. Knowing me, I did it. I tried anyways. <clears throat> When I was fixing this, I told Tammy that according to the instructions on the bag, there were supposed to be three servings in each bag. I asked her if she just wanted me to fix one bag and I split it. She said, uh-uh, you fixed the whole bag for me. So I did that and fixed the whole bag for me as well. I still wish it was a little bit warmer. No, something I ain't done this to you guys yet. I hope that don't make a mess doing it. There's your piece of beef and a piece of broccoli, both. There were some big pieces of broccoli florets in this. <clears throat> See, here's one piece of broccoli florets. That's a small piece compared to some of the other ones that was in this bag.
I'm drinking the flaming hot Mountain Dew again. <clears throat> Tammy's drinking water. The weather around here today was pretty good. It didn't rain any. <clears throat> it went rain last night about two or three in the morning. Then rained again I think about eight in the morning. But after it stopped raining it cleared up and <clears throat> it dried off enough to where the excuse me, my neighbor was able to mow. They were able to get a different mower and it had a new blade on it that was very sharp and come in real handy. As tall as my grass was, it would have been hard to push mow it if it hadn't been a good sharp blade. He told me they set the idle lip on it so it would run a little faster too. Leave her alone. We'll be back. I'm going to go to the little girl's room. Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, move that around. You want to leave it off? Leave what off? What's in your hand? I'll get it. Right. Well, I'll sit here and try to keep you guys occupied for a moment. She was talking about us going to PetSmart yesterday and get wiring her out. Get, get a number on her. <clears throat> she still hasn't really recovered her energy yet. In between being tired physically and all this stress from having the COVID and everything, it's had a bad impact on her and on me both. We've both been staying tired and fatigued a lot. <clears throat> The uh, doctor I talked to the other day when I went said that uh, this could last up to five months for the fatigue to stop. I don't. I hope my Lord above it does not last that long. There's a lot of people that have lost their sense of smell and taste. I've lost my sense of smell. There's some things I can smell and, um, you know, I recognize it. But there, there's smells that Tammy can say, don't you smell that? And I can't. Like some of the cleaning stuff that we use, it's got a real strong scent to it. And I know what it smells like. But I, I can't smell it. And my taste isn't as strong or as sensitive, I guess you could say, as what it was. Thankfully, I can still taste. <coughs> my older sister, she got COVID shortly after it started becoming a pandemic. And she still hasn't regained her sense of taste or smell yet. She said sometimes she can uh, get a small whiff of something. She can smell what it is. 
or if there's something really strong with the taste, something spicy, she can taste it. But <laughs> she works in the health field, in healthcare, taking care of people in a nursing home. And she said, the only, the biggest benefit of not being able to smell is not being able to smell. And for people that's working in the healthcare field and taking care of people like CNAs and LPNs or something like that, you have to take care of somebody that's in a nursing home that can't take care of themselves with everything that you have to do to take care of them and keep them clean, bathed and things. Not being able to smell sometimes is a blessing. What you guys got planned to do Sunday? I know Tammy kind of told us, <clears throat> told you guys what we have planned already. I'm looking forward to <clears throat> being able to get a day out, spend some time with the family, and I'm really looking forward to going to church. Not being able to go for several weeks and. That annoys me. It's the best way I can describe it. Tammy called me a church a holic because I like to go so much. <clears throat> I was raised up in a family that uh, when the church is having service, you're there no matter what. I've seen my grandparents. My grandma would have the flu. And uh, they were very strong in their religious beliefs. And she would come to church with the flu. And when the spirit started moving, you couldn't tell there anything wrong with her. And she put people's lives in danger, too. Yeah. I know it says test your faith, but work, use wisdom, too. <clears throat> but that was 40 and 50 years ago. Things wasn't. Well, they had strong faith. Yeah. Would you please leave me alone? The Bible tells us, like she said, to test your faith and to walk by faith, not by sight. There's a lot of people that don't even know what faith is anymore. They've been taught. <clears throat> nope. They were raised up in the, in the wrong way. Some of the parents might have been raised up the right way, but they didn't want to force their children to go to church and stuff. Force their children. Oh, don't start. No, don't you start. They to force be with uh, you. Excuse me. That is, I would say, the American version of beef and broccoli. Yeah. Because the Japanese and the, and the Chinese, they add a whole lot more stuff to it. Like I said, it's just get it. If you get it, doctor it yourself. Put what you want in it. It needs more ingredients. Yeah. Needs. And it really needs rice. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yeah, I told you. I baby. Well, like I said, I thought it would have rice. Ouch, in. Boots. It's all right, Bootsy, baby. I wish you guys could see how he's acting. He's, I believe if he could be Here. on the video. Get your bite of it. I, I believe if Boots could you be on the listen? video, he would try to steal the show. <laughs> I believe he would do a lot mask would do. Kind of be right in the center of the camera the whole time. Sit down. Sit down. But <clears throat> it does like if you go out to eat at, at a Mex Mexican or what well, right now is 
I don't know if that's Japanese or Chinese meal. I don't know. You want to run to the bathroom? Or walk really fast. She's thinking I'm not going to work. Anyways, there was a survey done in America. I'm going to find it again. And right now, it's not good with the people's beliefs. The young people <clears throat> of America, it's like 70 or 80 percent don't even believe in God. Because it wasn't taught. But they believe in Buddha and all those other things. Because you know how they're being taught? Games. Games and videos. And a lot of them are becoming Muslim. I don't know nothing about Muslims. I don't either. I don't want to know. Not going to judge them. Not going to say yeah. nothing about nobody. Because I don't know. I don't know nothing about them. But. We have failed our young people. We have really failed them. If we'd had kids, they'd been raised in church. No, they wouldn't with church. They had the flu or something. I can tell you that right now. They'd have been. They left. Uh, they'd have been stayed home. They would have been taken care of, and they would have uh, made been made sure that they know who God was, who Jesus was. And what Jesus did for us. Jesus is God. I agree. I'm just saying. Well, guys, we're going to get off. And I'll see you guys later. Start the dishwasher. I don't know. What, what are you looking for? Sit down a minute. Lord, have mercy. Well, now he's turning towards the camera a little bit more. Always grooming. He's a beautiful cat. But you don't know what the word no means. Oh, gosh. But anyways, we love you. Hope you enjoyed the videos enjoyed this video and we thank you, the subscribers and everybody that has uh, hollered at me and checked on us see see how we're doing and everything we're still it's day by day still not 100 percent hopefully we'll get there soon but we love you and love you very much and we'll see you tomorrow